The UK is seeing major unrest as right-wing protests get out of hand, with demonstrators clashing violently with riot police. In response, Prime Minister Keir Starmer has stepped up, promising full support for the police and condemning those who are fueling hate and violence. We are clear right across the government to the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, the Lord Chancellor, and for me as Home Secretary, that we will give the police all the backing that they need in the actions that they are taking in response to this, this criminal disorder and thuggery, because it has no place on Britain's streets. The chaos was triggered after a horrifying stabbing at a Taylor Swift-themed dance and yoga class in Southport last week, where three young girls were killed and others were injured. A 17-year-old has been arrested and charged with murder and attempted murder. The situation escalated after false rumors spread online, claiming that the suspect was a Muslim immigrant, which stirred up anger among far-right groups. Although naming suspects under 18 is usually restricted, the judge allowed the release of the suspect's identity to counter misinformation and reduce the violence. The protests have now spread to cities like Hull, Liverpool, Bristol, Manchester and Belfast. There have been reports of missiles being thrown, shops being looted and police being attacked. So far, 90 people have been arrested and several officers have been hurt. I am absolutely appalled and disgusted at the level of violence that was shown towards uh, my officers. This is the same officers who've been supporting this community for the last uh, 48 hours. In response to the ongoing riots, Prime Minister Keir Starmer has announced a special police unit to tackle the violence. This unit will use shared intelligence, wider deployment of facial recognition technology and preventative action. Starmer has also called on social media platforms to do more about misinformation, stressing that the online incitement to violence is a serious crime. As the situation unfolds, all eyes are on how the newly elected Labour government will handle it. Samia Afsar for NDTV World. Right. Uh, I'm uh, going across at this moment, in fact, uh, to my colleague Radhika Ayer, who is joining us with more details on this. Radhika, uh, first of all, what's the sense today at this moment? Uh, have things calmed down? Have the police been able to get situation under control? And what next? How is the government trying to, in fact, address this? Well, not just that uh, the Labour government's manifesto, one of the key manifesto issues was that they will put a lot more police presence on the streets of the UK, especially cities such as London, Bristol, uh, university towns such as Cambridge, Oxford, and um, uh, Glasgow, etc. But now the riots have meant that there has been a serious need for uh, police presence to be increased, also security presence to be increased. However, at the moment, in London, it is a calm day. Uh, it's another Sunday where people are out um, having a good time with their family, even despite there is a huge presence of the police and security all across where I am at the moment in central London. Uh, we know that 90 arrests have happened. We know that there is a lot of roving patrolling that is happening in the cities and in the streets, especially. So if, we, if you were to stand outside and travel on a bus or a train or in a car, the likelihood of you having to give way for police vehicles with sirens are much higher now in London and in other cities, as we hear from friends and professionals uh, in cities such as Hull, Belfast, uh, Cardiff, Glasgow, Edinburgh, uh, Bristol, and other English uh, towns, especially England. Now, the reason for that is that there have been sporadic, unplanned, and unexpected protests that have happened. There is a lot of uh, conspiracy theories going on on who these people are who are protesting, who are these so-called right-wingers who have been out on the streets and damaging public property, arson, and also attacking the police in off uh, throwing police from their um, two-wheelers, from their motorbikes, on horses. Uh, as you can see in the pictures, it has been quite violent. In the last 13 years, Britain hasn't seen something as violent and uh, unrestful as it has been after that very horrific incident where three children were murdered uh, after that knife attack and after social media wrongly misinterpreted or represented certain anti-immigrants. And now the whole riots have taken a very different turn of being anti-immigrant as opposed to uh, further even fueling social unrest.